and I couldn't have called upon Sister Dawn. And she didn't stop when she was doing the pray for me, Brother Tim. When I was sitting in a hospital bed in Charlotte, North Carolina, not knowing whether my babies were going to be delivered in 26 weeks or not. Go ahead, Leanne. Not knowing whether they were going to live or not. Come on. And I was in a weak place myself. I needed God's people to lift me up. Go ahead. There wasn't a time that I couldn't have called Sister Dicky oh. or Sister Dawn or Sister Bonnie that they prayed with me. Even Bonnie said, I don't even know what to tell you, Leanne, but I just needed to know that someone out there was praying with me. Satan will tell you that no one cares. Right. Satan will tell you that you are alone in the middle of the battle. Yeah, yeah, but Satan is a liar to try. Yeah. Satan will tell you, like Brother Cecil said the other night, Sister Heather, that you're not needed in the house of God oh. and that there is nothing that you can do. That there are plenty of people out there who can go preach. That there's plenty of churches that have plenty of preachers and that you're not needed. But that is a lie of right. Satan tonight. Because just like Sister Dorothy said, there's a soul out there, Heather, for you to read that even your husband cannot reach. There's a soul out there tonight, Sister Nikki, for you to reach that even Brother Tim can't reach. There's a soul tonight for Brother Tim to reach that my husband cannot reach. We've all got a call to do for God. And it's time that we start battling these things in our mind and laying them down at the altar and rebuking Satan and say, you're a liar and let God be true. We know the Word of God. We've heard it for years. And yet, because of our slothfulness and our dedication, we've allowed Satan to deceive us. So oh, I'm tired of a church. I'm tired of being in a self pity party sometimes. Don't tell me you sitting there ain't had one yourself. Come on. You're a liar. What's Matt say all the time? Be honest. Be honest. Let's be honest tonight.